Hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel, The Weeping Willow. My name is Muke. I'm an urban gardener from sunny South Africa. In this channel, I share my journey of urban slow living. And the biggest part of it, it's gardening, obviously. Um, gardening and I found each other when I was battling terrible depression. I had to ask myself, when was I the happiest and the most carefree? And all I could see was visions of my childhood. During my childhood, I was very connected with the natural world. I enjoyed waterfalls, gazing at the mountain, sunsets. I would spend hours exploring in my grandparents' um, homestead in such a way that even today, the mere smell of a tomato plant, it makes me happy instantly. So today's video, I'll be doing a garden tour. Um, I've been putting off this idea for quite some time now. Probably it's the perfectionist in me that feels that maybe the garden is not ready to be showcased because it's not producing abundantly as I would like it as yet. In the Southern Hemisphere right now, we are in the beginning of summer. However, I think the garden is pretty good and I've, I've worked really hard to get it to where it is right now. So I had to talk myself into doing this garden tour uh, because I need to enjoy the garden at all its stages. Um, whether I'm still planting seedlings, seedlings are coming out, whether it's producing abundantly, I need to enjoy all stages of the garden. This is the same view that most of us have about happiness um, in life in general. Um, we think we'll be happy at some future dates. I'll be happy when I have 10 acres of land. I'll be happy when I lose weight. I'll be happy when I get a, a better paying job. But that's incorrect because happiness is not a destination that you can travel to. Happiness is an inside job happiness is now so if it's an inside job it means it's with you you carry it with you everywhere you go whatever timeline you are in happiness is with you so savor the moment enjoy be happy at this moment of course you must have goals for the future but happiness is not a destination you can travel to okay enough about me preaching Let's see what the garden has for us today. Come with me. Bush beans. It's bush beans and it's a type that um, is it vining? Runners, it's called runners, yeah. But it's the purple kind. I planted this from, from seed. However, I have potatoes. I don't remember planting potatoes here. These are voluntary potatoes. I'm not gonna take them out. I always love voluntary plants. Okay. Alright, so that's that. I just love how they look. I love how they look. And for me, bean seedlings are the most gracious of them all. You know when they crack open that pod and, and they come out, I really love them. Okay, and over here we have potatoes. They're looking pretty good. There's potatoes. I planted potatoes even here in this space. I don't know what happened. But I've got other potatoes that I can plant. I'm assuming this is watermelon. I did not plant this watermelon as well. It's voluntary watermelon. For me, voluntary plants are, are special because they've survived that environment and they come back even, even stronger. In this patch here, I had planted... 
um, carrots and it was the second time that I'm planting carrots but look at this it's how many one two three four but this entire patch here was a carrot patch I don't think carrots love me but I don't care I I'll try again for the third time because at first if you don't succeed you try again all right and over here I have paprika yeah, I have paprika. I'm assuming it's the Hungarian paprika, not the sweet paprika. And already it's fruiting. Okay, I'll just give you um, a close up. And it's fruiting beautifully, beautifully. Okay, there it is. I love it. I love it. And I have a feeling it's going to be a good year for, for peppers this year. And behind it, I've got green onion. Over there, there's um, green cabbage here. It's looking like a vision of beauty. I love it. I love it. Actually, I'm falling in love with brassicas. We'll see more as, as we, we continue with our tour. Okay, and back here I have, um, this is aubergine, this is aubergine or eggplant for, for Americans or brinjal, well in South Africa we call it brinjal, and I went crazy this year, I think brinjal is by far one of my most favorite vegetables, it's so versatile and it's so delicious. It absorbs whatever flavor you put on it okay that's that and next to it I have I'm assuming it's red peppers but it's bell peppers it's bell peppers and, and they're producing as well abundantly it's gonna be a good year for for peppers I can already see peppers and next to the peppers shame I have my lovely um, Nastachium. It's struggling because of the heat. We've been having this terrible heat wave. I'll just harvest the flowers for the salad later. Um, yeah, that's the reason why I brought my my harvesting basket. I want to harvest some some items for a salad later. Okay, come this side and let's see what we have here. Um, I think this might be a lot. This is half a squash. It's a lot. I, I don't think I'll consume this much uh, half a squash. But the idea again is for me to preserve and for me to share with friends and, and family. But the initial plan was for me to put trellis here. It's sweet corn, it's squash and millet. I also have, what's this again, watermelon and some beans, they're not looking too happy and I think the reason here, I did not add compost, I had bought a truckload of compost literally, of mushroom compost, but I did not add mushroom compost here, maybe that's why things are not looking so happy here, even this um, butternut squash, this is butternut, that's butternut, this is millet, um, it's a staple from from Namibia my Namibian friend brought me that from home yeah um, and over here we have more Hubbard squash look at this how beautiful it is it's growing um, look at that look at that uh, I'm so excited I'm so excited all right let's move right along over here we have more aubergine told you i love aubergine and it's already producing and i can see the birds they tried picking on it and they realized no this is not a berry but it's aubergine yeah and it's growing like crazy two days ago it was not this big maybe it was i don't know way way smaller than that and this happened squash it's smothering my aubergine but I can't bring myself to remove it. I love how it looks. Um, we have more bell peppers. 
this one I know for sure it's red uh, bell peppers but what I like about bell peppers you can you can use them from the moment they're green and if you want to use it as red bell peppers you have to wait until it's red obviously the sorrel oh shame my poor baby it doesn't like the sun doesn't like the sun at all but this one looks better I'll come harvest later and then here I've got tomatoes these tomatoes over here I planted them from seeds seeds I got from a store bought cherry tomato these are cherry tomatoes these are cherry tomatoes as well but they're not looking so hot this one is producing abundantly um, even though it looks like this this is is it jam jam is it called jam or beef steak can't remember the cultivar but yeah you will see how it looks it's um i forgot yeah but i love it it's producing nicely and in between i have a lot of um a lot of basil a lot of basil i just need to trim the tops because because of the heat it's going to seed too quickly and over here it's more tomatoes in fact, I need to plant more tomatoes. Um, in this household, we eat a lot of tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Yeah. This one, is it blight? Probably it's blight or whatever tomato disease it has. But then again, you, you win some, you lose some. I mean, it's just one or two that are looking like that. And most of them are, are looking great. And considering that we had a terrible hail storm, that damaged most of the plants about three weeks ago they're doing pretty well i should be pleased with myself over here we have peas let me come this side because i want to harvest some leaves and some pots we have peas i know i'm ambitious by planting peas in the heat of summer because peas is actually a winter crop but i love peas so much i, I love the aesthetics i love how it tastes then yeah i decided to plant it again in the summer and yeah it's doing pretty well for a winter crop but i need to put some trellis for this piece i'm just lazy i'll, I'll find time and, and do it okay These are pepper juice. I love pepper juice and they're, they're so expensive in the shops. I was given these three uh, plants by my dear friend Sharon and yeah, they're producing nicely. I can't wait to harvest. Okay, and this is my brassica pana. Yeah, you can see it was a war zone here. It was a war zone here, but these are my fighters. I'm telling you. They were attacked by aphids. There was an aphid infestation. There was a cabbage worm infestation. I've harvested this one, I think about yesterday. I left this part because it's gonna form another uh, broccoli. Uh, actually winter crops. And because of the heat wave, you can see they don't look so hot. But I don't know, yeah. You lose some, you gain some. This is not looking nice, but I have so many things that are, are, are looking okay. Isn't that the game of life? You lose, you win. Yeah. All right. Let me harvest some um, sorrel over here. Uh, I think I need to do. I need to put up a shade for the sorrel. It doesn't look happy at all. Since the hail, after the hail, it was um, it was the heat wave it doesn't look happy at all okay let's move to the top part and see what we have there but wait don't you just love brassicas i'm not crazy about cabbages and brassicas but the aesthetics look at this color i don't know what color is this is it purple i don't know look at the green look at this Never mind the holes, just look at the colors. I love brassicas. This winter, I'm gonna go big on brassicas. Just for the aesthetics. All right. And over here, okay, this was baby spinach. Um, it's come to the end of its life. 
it's also a winter crop it doesn't like the heat that's why it's going to seed but i'm quite pleased i mean i've harvested so many times here so it's okay it can go to seed shame poor thing and what i'll do i'll just cut the tops and drop new seeds of um the same thing of the baby spinach because i love baby spinach i love it so much okay and next to it this is beetroot i need to plant another section of beetroot okay this is cabbage it's been attacked by the cabbage worms as well i've been fighting and losing uh, I'll, I'll try and fight again but yeah um there's um bush beans green bush beans they're doing so well but i can't remember whether it's the vining type or not because they seem to be growing and growing and growing but whatever the type it is I i'm happy i'm happy they're producing already let me try and harvest the thing about bush beans you have to harvest them early because if you let them um if you leave them on the plant for too long they become uh, fibrous so you must harvest them as soon as possible okay and you'll see how much I'm going to get just from this two, um, two plants. It's abandoned. Abandoned. Look how pretty these flowers are. I'm taking some for my salad later. Okay, let's move right along. Got lettuce. But I don't know. My lettuce is not looking so good. I've never been successful in, in planting lettuce from seeds. Uh, but I keep on trying. Well, anyway, this is my second time. Maybe I shouldn't say I haven't been successful. It's been my second time. I should try again for the third time. But this bunch here, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, I'm taking some leaves for my salad later. I'm just hoping it's not bitter. Because lettuce also doesn't like a lot of, uh, a lot of sun. I'm taking some, some nasturtium leaves as well for my salad i love the peppery taste so if you appreciate rocket you will appreciate the nasturtium um, taste okay let's see the section here there isn't much happening as yet I have planted this flowers I've planted here this is sweet is it sweet alisum alisum something like that yeah this one here and that one sweet alisum still these are zinnias and the idea is that they will be they will form a border around this bed and when I wake up in the morning um, from my bedroom, I can see the flowers. And the plan here is to plant uh, peppers. I've got more peppers that I've prepared in pots. I'll transplant them here. This baby here is a blueberry, a blueberry bush that was badly battered by the hail. But poor thing, it's coming back to life. Can see there's there's new life. I need to get it a bigger a bigger container. And then over here I have potatoes. I can't remember when I planted them. I don't know. I did not put a marker. I normally put a marker of when I planted things, but I forgot here. Even here there's potatoes, and I'm using mulch um, to suppress weeds, to suppress weeds, and also try and keep moisture in all right i planted sunflowers even last year i planted sunflowers but my sunflowers were epic last year they were big they were beautiful they're struggling a bit this year but it's fine now I'll, I'll take it i want some petals for the salad later Now let's come to the section. I planted this. It was on a holiday. 
um, in April, 27 April, was it? Yeah, 27 April, Freedom Day. Um, I've been eating from this box since then. I ate from here the whole of winter, the whole of spring, and now we are in, in summer. Yeah, as you can see, this is a Swiss chard patch. And over here, let me show you a close up. Here I've got volunteer plants. I told you my, my love affair with volunteer plants. I love them. I did not plant this. These are actually um, rocket plants. I had planted rockets in winter here. And you can see it's coming back. This is rockets. And this one here, it's Mizuna spinach all volunteer plants there's more mezuna growing in between the swiss chart i love that container garden i'm using all sorts of containers um, i'm using crates i'm using shopping bags i'm using pot plants and in the shopping bags i have potatoes they don't look so good um, they were also damaged during the hailstorm about three weeks ago but i think now they're coming back to life um, there's hope there's hope all right and i have tomatoes here these are cherry tomatoes i have um zucchini courgettes or baby marrows um i have more um swiss chard you can never have enough swiss chard and there's peppers peppers that i'm growing in containers but the plan is to transplant them where i told you earlier um this container here i have sweet potato um, i'm gonna show you a close-up look at these cabbages oh my goodness oh my goodness they're epic this is what i'm trying to tell you that you win some you lose them earlier on top we saw i had cabbages that were attacked by all sorts of pests you can think of but this one here is a vision of beauty i'm in love with brassicas really i'm in love look at this green color mm, it heals me i love it see they're coming back to life after being hit by the hailstorm I'm not sure whether this is because of hail or there's cut worms really at uh, this moment. I don't know. But yeah. Okay. And that's that. And lastly, there's this moringa tree. I have two moringa trees. The other one I had to trim the top because now it's just growing. It's so leggy. But if you cut the top, you're encouraging it to become bushy. This one I'm leaving it because I still want to have the leaves. Um, harvesting some of the leaves for the salad. Um, Moringa tree is called the tree of life. I'm telling you, it's a miracle tree. So I'm taking some for my salad. Okay. That's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed my garden tour. It's not much, but it makes me happy and I'm proud to show it off. Let me just go and prepare the salad. I'll catch you on the other side.